Hello all, welcome to session 21 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain about the naming conventions that we have to follow while creating the solutions, while creating the projects, C -sharp files, namespaces, classes, and class members. So let's get started. So what are these naming conventions? Why they are important? You see, everyone writes the code, okay? Uh, even though you write the code in a proper logic, but if you are not following the naming conventions, it is not a good practice, okay? So in place of the lowercase letters, if you are giving uppercase letters, or in case of uppercase letters, while writing some code, right? In case of the uppercase letters, you are giving lowercase letters, your code doesn't look good, okay? Visibility wise, it's not readable properly, okay? So everyone is following some standard and uh, you are not following the standard. That's what is the problem. When you share this kind of code, which is not having the naming conventions followed to your senior people, right? They will show less interest in looking at your code because they feel like your code is a zigzag code, okay? So uh, you have not followed the proper naming conventions while writing the code. So it becomes very difficult for them to read your code and uh, they get irritated, easy, irritated easily, okay? That's why guys, everyone in the industry while writing the code, right? They want to be on the same platform where they want to follow the same naming conventions, okay? So what is the naming convention you have to follow while creating the solution? You have to know that. What is the naming convention you have to follow while creating the project names? You have to know that, okay, and so on. So this is what is the importance of the naming, naming conventions, okay? In any programming languages, guys, okay? Coming to c it has own naming conventions for creating different stuff. Whereas if you go to Java, it has own naming conventions for creating different stuff, okay? So you have to be aware of the naming conventions. In this session, I'm going to uh, show you the different naming conventions followed for creating different type of things while working with C-sharp programs, okay? So first one is solutions, guys, okay? In one of the previous session, I explained about the hierarchy, right? If you remember the hierarchy here, first, under the solution, we create the projects. We can create, my solution is nothing but a group of projects. Under a project, we can create a group of uh, namespaces. Namespaces are nothing but a group of classes. Under classes, we have class members like variables, methods, and other things, okay? This is what is the hierarchy. So in this hierarchy, there are a lot of terms like solution, project, namespace, class, class members, and so on, right? So for each and every of these things, what is the naming convention we have to follow, okay? So first, for example, here, solutions, okay? If I can show you this Visual Studio ID, the solution explorer, you see this is a solution. What is the solution name I created here? Solution one. So you can observe this naming convention. There are two words, right? Solution one, okay? If I write something like this here, so it is something like this. I have given the name of the solution as solution one, okay? While creating the solution, I gave the name of the solution as solution one. If you observe this, there are two words in this name and uh, first letter of each and every word is in capital letter. This kind of case is known as upper camel case, you see? Upper camel case. No matter how many words you have in this uh, naming of that particular solution, each and every words, first letter should be in capital, capital letter, okay? Even the first words, first letter also should be in capital letter. This is what is upper camel case. Solution names should be following which naming convention? Upper camel case like this, okay? Camel case, okay? So all the multiple words uh, in uh, which are used for naming the solution, right? Each and every multiple words, first letter should be in capital, okay? That is upper camel case. Now, when you what about projects? Projects also follow the upper camel case, guys. Okay, here you see, under this solution one, I created two projects. First project, second project. If you see the name of the project here, two words are there, first project, okay? What is the name I have given here? First project how many words are there first is one word and project is another word so in in each and every word if you see the first letter is in capital even even the first word is also having the first letter as capital second word is also having the first letter as capital this is called as upper camel case okay the same upper camel case need to be followed while creating the project names and coming to the csha files okay so under this projects if you observe under this uh, first project uh, you observe i created a csha file okay dot cs file this is csha file and I named this uh, C sharp file, that is .cs file with some name. That is first program .cs file, okay? What is the name I have given? First program. Let me write it here. The name of the C sharp file that I have created is first program .cs file. You see here also two words are there and first letters of each and every word is in capital letter, which is also upper camel case. All these three things are upper camel case. Now coming to the namespaces. Under this C sharp file, Okay, after creating the C-sharp file, first I created a namespace. You see, you can create any number of namespaces. As you already know the structure here, hierarchy here. Under the, under the project, you can create the C-sharp files. Under the C-sharp files, you can have any number of namespaces. So here in this uh, example, we have only one namespace. You can create multiple namespaces, okay? And the namespace is starting here, 
and ending here you can create one more namespace here if you want that's okay you can create one more namespace here that's not a problem like you can call it as namespace uh, two and uh, you can start here that's okay but uh, our focus is not about creating multiple namespaces here but uh, just see the naming convention that we have followed here how many words are there in this namespace three words are there and the first letter of each and every three words is capital letter which is also upper camel case okay what is the name i have given here namespace one i have given okay name space one there are three words and first letter of each and every word is in capital letter which is also upper camel case okay so here in c sharp when you are working with c sharp you are following the naming conventions while creating the solutions you have to give the name as name in upper camel case solution name in upper camel case project name in uh, name in upper camel case c sharp files name name of the c sharp files also should be in upper camel case namespace names also should be in upper camel case and class names also should be in upper camel case okay if you see here namespace one under the namespace we have the class there are two words class one you see it is also in upper camel case okay so class names also should be in the most of the things in c sharp are in upper camel case right solution one uh, solution name project name c sharp file name namespace name class name everything is in upper camel case what else left out okay then we have the under the class guys here under the namespace you can have any number of classes under this namespace one you can have here only one class is there but you can create one more class if you want okay here you want to create one more class you can create class you can say that as class 2 here you want to create class 2 you can create class 2 here but the naming of the names of the class classes should be in upper camel case okay under the class what will be there finally under the class we'll have class members that is variables and methods will be there you see this is a variable this is a method right this is a variable and this is a method so first let's look into the method guys okay so method names should be in upper camel case in c sharp okay method names you see main method if you see the main method guys it is an upper camel case okay here only one word is there the first letter of the first word is in capital letter and also if you create one more method i created one more method you see inside this class i created a uh, one more method the sample one method so if you see the naming convention of the sample one method which is in upper camel case okay there are two words here the first letter of each and every word is in upper camel case that is here the name of the method i created is sample one and here the there are two words and the first letters of each and every word is in capital letter so all these things are upper camel case and uh, coming to variables case okay coming to variables so a class will contain not only methods a class will not contain only methods the class will also contain the variables here there are two types of variables one is global variable as explained in the previous session the type the types of the variables i explained in the previous session is one of the type of the variables is global variables the variables which are created outside the methods and directly under the class are known as global variables the variables which are created inside the methods whose scope is up to this method body only are known as local variables okay the naming convention of the local variables is different from the naming convention of the global variables if you see here guys here if i have to give something like this for example if i have to give my experience okay my experience i have to give this is lower camel case you see there are two words here my experience two words are there so first word the first letter is in lower case and second words first letter is in upper cam, uh, upper case okay so this is not upper camel case this is lower camel case if you see here local variables follow lower camel case this is what is the symbol of the lower camel case guys here multiple words can be there in the lower camel case from second word onwards the first letter will be in capital but first words first letter will be in lower case this is called as lower camel case in c sharp whenever you are creating the local variables you have to make sure that if that particular local variable has multiple words it should be following the lower camel case okay it should be following which camel case lower camel case the first words first letter should be in lower case whereas the second words first letter should be in upper case okay this is lower camel case but coming to the global variables it is different okay it's different scale it's different guys okay for example here number of i'll give something okay Num number of items okay number of items i'll give something like this here how many words are there in this uh, variable name global variable name there are three words you know you can even give like this okay n u m b e r okay number of items how many words are there three words are there so first letter of each and every word is in three words is in capital letter which is upper camel case okay so here just to conclude guys global variables should have upper camel case this this camel case okay upper camel case where each and every words first letter will be in capital letter including the first words first letter coming to the local variables the variables which uh, which are created inside the methods and whose scope is up to the method only right those variables the naming convention should follow the lower camel case okay they should follow the lower 
camel case the first words first letter will be in lower case second words onwards second word onwards the first letter will be in capital case which is lower camel case so just to conclude guys all the things that i have explained so far that is solutions projects c sharp files namespaces classes and class members methods and global variables everything is upper camel case except local variables local variables only lower camel case remaining all are upper camel case so hope guys you understood uh, how to provide naming conventions for different things in c sharp like solutions projects c sharp files namespaces classes and class members so that's all for this session in the next session meet you in the next session thank you bye